Hello and welcome to Cooking with Alalika. Today we're going to prepare for you some vegan Easter. So we'll teach you actually how to be ready for the next coming holidays without animal suffering. Now we're gonna make a little pre-snack for you all uh, which contains these kinds of biscuits just simple salted biscuits that are vegan Check out the ingredients because sometimes it may contain egg or actually does contain so you just try to find the right ones which are vegan without egg, without milk or anything that comes from an animal Yeah, and then the ingredients are pretty simple we like to just use the Oatly's new product that's called Pomakan, which is basically cream cheese and also caviar. There is actually vegan caviar without anything that comes from an animal. And also we will just cut some dill to decorate the cookies. So let's prepare it. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so, so basically, first thing first, you basically just put the cream cheese first. So we're gonna try it here in one of our cookies, right? This is quite simple, you just need to put the ingredients on and then you can just uh, serve it in the way that's supposed to be. So, I can prepare, keep preparing some cheesy yep. cookies. Cheesy cookies. So afterwards you just put some of this vegan caviar, which shouldn't name it caviar at all because it's no. actually not caviar. caviar. This is also not cheese, but it's a good way to and, uh, talk about it maybe. Some of you, probably all of you, will make this look even more beautiful than Alan just did. Just putting it on here. Maybe you can make it like a little thinner and maybe in like oh. a nice round shape or something. Just a, just a thought. Thank you. <laughs> so here we have the soy bites. Um, actually, the soy sticks, you can buy like it's the brand Veggie. You can find them in any supermarket around the country. But you also could use like big soy bites, it doesn't matter the, the shape but you can buy it like, I don't know, um, Asian stores or like uh, Arab stores, it's okay. They're actually cheaper and better. This is what we got now, anyways. So, just put them on the water and let them absorb it so it won't be this stick. So, put them there and let them be for a while. So now we will prepare um, the, the marinade. So we will we'll cut this rosemary. So we can actually use it. We can uh, clean it maybe with a little bit of water. I'm also gonna use the scissors, so it's easier. But of course, that you can also just cut it with the knife. Mm, this smells so good. So we're also gonna use garlic to prepare this. You know, uh, when this this food is supposed to replace the lamb because when we do talk about lamb meat we actually we're talking about pieces of flesh of someone therefore we want to replace that food for something that don't suffer but the same as then we use uh, when people use corpses we need to put some spices maybe I shouldn't say that it sounds so nasty but actually, that's what it is. 
So, now we have here the soy bites that are being like in the water for a while. As you can see, now they're not a piece of stone, they're quite soft and they got some shape. So, to keep this recipe, we will need a plastic bag, like any kind of bag. And we'll use the ingredients that we said at the beginning. We're gonna use the oil. We're just gonna put it inside. We're gonna also use pepper. You can use any kind of pepper that you like. <laughs> You're gonna use some salt. And finally, the garlic and the rosemary that we cut. We put it inside, nice and gently. So once that we have this, we'll just put inside the soy bites. The difference with this recipe and the other ones that we showed before is that you need to leave this the whole night in your fridge. Actually, you can like do it from the morning and prepare it maybe during the afternoon. But we recommend to leave it as much time as possible so then it gets like better taste. So now we're just gonna do this with the bag so it uh, gets the taste. So, we can leave it there, resting till tomorrow. So, we had this ready from yesterday, so we can finish it today. So what we're gonna do now, once that you leave this the whole night or several hours, as I said, we're just gonna fry it. So if you come here, we have this frying pan with some oil. So. Now we're just gonna put it there, make some really nice soy bites. So what do we do with this? You can just put it on the top to add some extra flavor. You can also add some salt, you already did it, but if you think that it wasn't enough, and as much spices as you want. So, this is the perfect replacement if you are uh, starting into what is vegetarianism or and at the very end veganism because it will make you think that actually have some sort of meaty shape and it does taste a little bit like what you've been trying before so the difference is that nothing on this dish actually bleed neither suffer What can I do? So to replace the egg that you slice in half and then put caviar and dill on top, we're thinking to just take plain potatoes that we've boiled so they're soft inside and just simply slice them in half as you do with the eggs to get the right looks of it like that and just take simply a spoon and just take some tong caviar which you can find at uh, Ica or your local shop um, and just simply put it like that and you can also buy this kind of caviar on a tube 
so you can get the the swirl right and then you simply just cut the herbs the dill the dill with a scissor or just take it off with your hands and just put it like this uh, for decoration but also for the taste because it's it tastes very much like Eastern spring. So this is your egan, vegan egg. <laughs> egan, egan. <laughs> Perfect. So for this dish, we will start uh, preparing this dough you can buy it at Ica or you can prepare it yourself but you need some yeast and that may be a discussion may be a discussion for vegans so uh, just make sure that it's uh, actually vegan you can ask in the supermarket or go into Facebook and check the forums to to find the right one okay so we have it prepared as I said uh, we cut it already and also make it flatter so now what we will do basically is to put them inside these really small aluminium plates. So we do it like this. Just make sure that the dough is really pressed inside the plate, okay? Like this. So we will make like little bread plates. Then we put the other one. And after this, we cook it in the oven. We just uh, bake it for around 20 minutes at 200 grades. Two, sorry, 200 degrees. And that's it, until it, it is like toasted and a bit crunchy. Ta da! Now it's going to the oven. Okay, so now we're gonna cut these mushrooms. Uh, we're supposed to do like really small pieces. So afterwards make like a sort of, um, I don't know, dipping sauce with it. So just make sure that this is really small and you just cut them in the regular way that you cut the mushrooms. So now we're gonna fry the mushrooms. To do that, we're gonna use this vegan butter. I insist with this vegan butter because there are several uh, milk-free or milk frit butters on the supermarkets. The thing is that the other butters actually use animal fat that comes from the fur, from the hair of the sheep. So this is the vegan one, don't forget it. Blue stripes, okay? Here. Ta -da 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 -da. Ta -da. So we can do little squares with it and put them in the salad. It looks like I'm cutting in my hand. I always cut like that. Sometimes I actually cut myself. Mm. Mm -hmm. This will be so good. Does it look weird? <laughs> So now we'll go to the point. It's so we all want to color some stuff. You know that kids sometimes like to put colors on stuff, but why do we do it on eggs? I mean, you can get this kind of stuff, or you can also be creative and let your kid be creative. So this comes with many, even pencils with colors, and you can just let the kids be creative as well. I mean, you don't need eggs at all. Also, if you don't think that that's enough, there is even options for dogs. This is a vegan bone, looks like a bone, you can treat your dog, but guess what? It doesn't contain meat at all. So, candies. 
we have actually vegan candies, we're not aliens, you know? So in, you can find in any kind of supermarket, yet in Copla, this doesn't contain milk at all, and it's vegan, fully vegan. You can also find this kind of cookies, you have this Simguala or whatever that is called. Oreos are actually vegan. Kryptonite, super tasty, vegan. Oh, these ones are quite salty and weird from all over the world, but in here they love it. Chocolate, even vegan. Just try to find the ones that are darker so it doesn't contain milk. And make sure that behind says that it comes from soy fat or soy milk. And guess what? Skittles, if you want sugar. 